I know they're not exactly the top rated films of all time, but I love Kirstie Alley and consequently I have a very large soft spot for the Look Who's Talking trilogy. The first film was incredible. The third film is great. The second film is a bit more mediocre, but because it still retains that beautiful quality of, you know, giving a voiceover to Mikey, we still have Bruce Willis as that voice, and we also have Roseanne Barr voicing Julie now. It's still very funny and very entertaining. So the second one was released in 1990, directed and written by Amy Heckerling again, and stars John Travolta and Kirstie Alley. And... I love Kirstie Alley, so I know I'm biased, but I do think it's great. So in this one, we have another baby. I'm not, I won't spoil this film, but there may be spoilers if you haven't seen the first one. So Kirstie Alley's character, Molly, and her partner, James, have a second baby, and this time they have a little girl. And a lot of this film is about Mikey's sibling rivalry with his new baby sister, and we have interaction between them, and obviously we have these... Um, internal voiceover, the voiceovers of of the children as they interact, and there are other children, and it's it's so funny. It really is funny for me. This is the kind of comedy that I think just hits the nail on the head for me. It 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 you know it tickles every bit of my funny bone. It's very entertaining. The performances of the very young children are an absolute delight to watch. Um, Mikey is played by Lauren Sussman. Julie is played by Nikki Graham, Georgia Keithley and Megan Milner at various stages of her age. And I think it's a nice narrative. Obviously, it's nothing overly complicated, but I think the development is nice. It's got a really nice pacing. It is predictable, let's be honest, but this kind of film always is. The dialogue is just spectacular. That's one of the reasons why I think it's so funny because you have these brilliant voiceovers with some really clever, funny and sometimes shocking speech coming out of the children's mouths or I guess their heads because they're not actually speaking. It's a lot of fun and while it isn't anywhere near as good as the first film or the third film, I will always have a soft spot for it. If you liked the first film, but are worried that the second one may dampen your opinion of it by not living up to it. Well, yes, it won't live up to that, but then sequels rarely do. I personally think that you should still give this one a go. I thoroughly enjoyed it. If you watch this one and you don't really like it that much, please still give the third one a chance. It's got a very different vibe, and I think the third one's better than the second, so please don't neglect the last one, just if you don't like this one. Look Who's Talking To is a delightful film, wonderfully performed by everybody, including the children, and I definitely recommend it.